the New York Mets make a splash. A two-year deal for Michael Kadire. He's great in the clubhouse. He's one of the all-time great guys. That's going to only help the chemistry of the yes, ball club. Will. Matt Harvey, what do you expect when he takes the mound in eight? I think as soon as Harvey gets his feet wet and gets out there, he's going to be one of the most dominant pitchers in the game again. Rookie of the Year honors goes to Mets Roddy Jacob DeGrom. Very deserving of this award. And I think the future not only is bright for this guy, but this organization. And with DeGrom and hopefully the healthy Harvey, the Mets have a chance now to be very, very good here in 2015. Back here on MLB Now, presented by the U.S. Army. Here's what Pakota says, baseball prospectus, giving its predictions. The Nationals at 92 wins. See, I'm going 103. I'm not as conservative as uh, Pakota. But the Mets, 82 and 80. And while we have Bob Ojeda here, and Bob, you did the SNY and the Mets for six years, so you followed them very closely, mm -hmm. pre-game, post-game. Loved your work, by the way. Thank you. You had to be blunt. Someone's got to be blunt out there. You did it. <laughs> um, all right. A lot of people are saying, you know, they Mets seem to be kind of a trendy sort of, not a division champion pick but a wild card pick what are you seeing with the Mets this year well I am seeing reasons for optimism I really am and I'm not a homer everybody knows that. everybody who's watched me knows right. I'm not a homer yeah. but there's reason for optimism absolutely and that's the pitching they have not had pitching like this in the past six years you got to remember six years they finished under 500 the only other team in MLB to pull that trick off Houston Astros. So there's reason for optimism. It's not based on hope. They used hope as a slogan, you know, years ago. I'm like, what is that? With that, I have to, I have to, you know, play the other card in that the offense is problematic. David Wright needs a bounce back. Granderson needs a bounce. Kadire needs to show he can play at sea level. And I think those are those are important pieces for that offense. And if you look at two teams that parallel to me, Atlanta and the New York Mets. Their offenses, about the same. You cannot begin to tell me Met Pitchin doesn't have a resume, is as good, if not better, than Atlanta's. I'm not going to buy it for a minute. So no. Yeah, I, I see. I look at them, and I'm thinking, when I just see them across, I'm looking right at their, the, the screen right now at the Mets as they lay out. I don't see it. I don't see it yet. Now, Matt Harvey comes back, and he's a beast. Well, a lot of things can happen. Syndergaard comes up. Now you have all these quality innings. You watch them pitch by pitch, inning for inning. What do you see about them? defensively, let's say, running the bases, defense, the finer points of the game. What do you see about them? Well, that's an excellent question. Defensively does does go hand in hand with your pitching staff. And as we see here, shortstop, no question, better than expected, still below average. Second baseman, uh, Murphy is a, a solid hitter, but he is at best a below average second baseman. Yeah. That's just the reality of it. Now right. you got Kadire and you got Granderson on the corners in the outfield. Both are not known for their defense. You've got an all-star center fielder absolutely he's out Regards is great right. Regards is phenomenal right. behind the dish a sleeper problem for them is Darno behind the dish if you look at the success rate stealing and you had some wheels in your day when you know you can take a bag you're going to take it now not only is he throwing out a very low percentage he's letting the ball sail into center field you couple that with two guys in the middle who aren't known for their gloves so you're going to have guys stealing who not are going to just be on second base but now are going to be on third base mm -hmm. now you've got one out guy on third and that extra point we know changes a lot of ball games yeah, about, about excellent points on, on the defense because those are the things that we just kind of gloss over oh yeah and we look at the hitting but no pitch by pitch inning for inning an extra guy an extra chance an extra out means an awful lot. Are we, are we buying the Mets or not buying no, the Mets? One more question for Bob. Yeah. Lucas Duda, is he a player? Is he going to be a first baseman for the Mets long term? Well, now that they left him alone, let him play first base, let him swing. He's a free swinger. He's got a very good eye for a big guy. I think he'll be fine. Will he hit a lot of home runs? Depends on, on, on how he's doing in that lineup. And we always say, does he need protection? I think that's overrated. Does he start to feel pressure now that he's expected to do it? Mm. Is he going to start coming out of the zone? But he bit? has legitimate power. Legitimate yeah. power. A lot of guys have. Oh yeah, he's not the power. issue. Yeah, no, I, I'm sold on Duda, but like even fielding at first base is not good. Uh, what do we think? Are we thinking 500 wild card? No. Absolutely. No, I, I look at this. Absolutely team. what? I, I think this could be a 500 team. I think this would be an outside sneaky shot at a wild card berth. Hmm. Are you, are you saying Division that? Division 2 tough. I think the Marlins are better right now than the Mets, and I think the I'm Nationals no. are the best team in the National Oh, yeah. League. No, they're not even close. I don't think the Mets get wild card. Second wild card, yes or no? I don't, uh, I'm don't. i not seeing it. Not yet. I'm, I know. Not I'm yet. not seeing it either. They're on All the right, right path, but I just don't think it's going to happen this year.